How's it going everyone? Today you join us in Sturgis at Revzilla's Get On ADV Fest and behind me is a wicked cool and uh, pretty unique BMW GS 1200 with a sidecar on it. So we're gonna do a whole walk around of this motorcycle, but this particular bike belongs to the Motorcycle Relief Project. And I actually have the Motorcycle Relief Project's founder, Tom here. How's hey. it going, man? It's going good, how are you doing? Oh, we're doing super well. So thank you for letting us do a little walk around yeah. about this bike. And I'd love to talk to you about the motorcycle relief project but uh first let's yeah. kind of jump into what all you guys did to this motorcycle so i noticed there's a lot of interesting stuff going on here <laughs> the first thing that caught my eye is you guys actually have a winch in the middle of this yeah well it's a 2014 bmw 1200 gs fitted with a dmc sidecar and uh when we we ordered the sidecar from dmc the winch was an accessory that we, they offered and I thought, yeah, I guess it would be pretty uh, nice to have that if we ever got right. you know, off the road out in the back country and needed to pull ourselves up a hill. But this thing's so capable off-road that we've never once actually had to use it. So you guys take it pretty off-road off pretty consistently and it works well? <laughs> Our program is we take veterans with PTSD and other issues out for five-day adventure bike rides. and. We take the sidecar with us when we have a vet who's physically disabled and can't ride his own bike. Right, and so you you said that you guys in the Motorcycle Relief Project, you've got a number of motorcycles that you use for these trips and all BMWs? Yeah, we have a fleet of uh, 12 BMW GSs from 650 up to 1250. So have you personally taken this particular setup off-road? Yeah. How, how is it off-roading with a sidecar? Uh, well, you can't do like anything super technical or right. two track on it, but the type of stuff we do, forest roads and like beautiful gravel roads in scenic backcountry, it does great. So, pretty interesting going stuff going on here. I mean, I can see that this sidecar actually has its own suspension on the outside. Well, and this one here. has we we got the optional electric trim. So there's a switch here on the handlebar, and when you switch that, it raises up that wheel wow. so you can adjust it when you're riding a sidecar every time the cam camber of the road changes it changes the way it pulls it'll pull right. left or right and so depending on the weight of the passenger or the road surface you can adjust it to try to get more neutral handling is that something that you adjust often as you're riding or you kind of set it and forget it i uh, set it and forget it like based on the road or based on the passenger okay but if the road changes a lot then you can tweak it a little but really if you're just uh riding around you don't have to do anything with it that's way cool so i've talked to a couple people that own motorcycles with sidecars and from most of the people that i've talked to they've said it's actually scarier to ride a bike with a sidecar than it is to ride a bike without one 100 <laughs> so percent yeah why, this, why is, is, this is way more dangerous than a motorcycle well the handling is unpredictable so you've, you've got this extra weight on the passenger side and that extra weight just changes everything. The, it doesn't ride like a balanced motorcycle. Yeah. It, it drives like this crazy animal that is unpredictable and you never know, uh, you know how the next corner is going to affect it. So you, you really have to be on your game. It's way more physical. You have to muscle it a whole lot more. Right. Uh, Does this wheel on the sidecar, I can see it's got its own brake, is it set up pretty well? I mean, does it work when you only pull one brake? It's linked the to other? the rear brake on okay, the bike. It's linked to the rear brake. Yeah. And do you ever find that when you're braking hard on the bike itself, like especially on the front brake, does it want to turn or does it brake pretty evenly? Um, no, it's, it's almost impossible to get it set up to brake evenly. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine it's but probably you, the same you, you thing. You just with learn to live with it. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Well, it's, it's a really cool setup. And also, this bike itself is kitted out in a really cool way. I noticed it's a very different looking tire on the back, obviously, because this whole setup isn't leaning the same way that a regular motorcycle Correct. would. Yeah, it's an automotive tire on the rear and on the 
sidecar hack. Yeah. It's actually a Volkswagen tire. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah because, because the sidecar scary. doesn't lean at all. You know, motorcycle tires are rounded yeah. because you're always leaning left and right. And because the sidecar doesn't lean, it just eats through tires that just trims off the top, you know, of the of the curve on a typical motorcycle tire. And I would imagine it would be fairly difficult to find a tire that would fit a motorcycle wheel. Well, what DMC did is they uh, somehow sourced a wheel that bolts right onto the BMW. Right, uh, so that's not even the, the standard wheel. Right. That's really And it's the same wheel on the sidecar as on the bike. And I also was looking up here at the handlebars and see that you have a really cool steering stabilizer. It's adjustable. That's a pretty sweet unit. Yeah, when they built the sidecar, they changed the rake of the front fork oh, okay. to, so, to push it out a little bit more, to give it a little more stability when the sidecar's on it. Right. The problem is they can't keep the factory steering stabilizer on there, the one that's mounted down below. So uh, when we first got the sidecar, it was like super wobbly, so we added that ourselves just to try to straighten it out a little bit. Well, again, a huge thanks to you, Tom, for letting me cruise around with you in this sidecar. Uh, I genuinely was not expecting the wheelie, which made a lot more fun, so I'm glad you didn't warn me on that. Uh, and again, super cool program. So you guys take veterans out on motorcycle rides. Tell me a little bit more about how that goes. So we work with veterans and first responders who have PTSD and related issues like depression and anxiety. And we have a a fleet of 12 BMW GS's and uh, we take them out on five-day adventure bike rides. A lot of them are uh, Harley riders or sport bike riders who've never ridden a GS on dirt before so we have a professional coach with us to teach them how to ride. We ride during the day and blow off some steam and have fun and then uh, at night back at the lodge we talk about our day over dinner and then offer workshops in the evening designed to kind of give them new skills and new perspectives on dealing with their issues uh, and hopefully help people kind of get pulled out of a rut and a dark place and turn into turn in a better direction for a more positive future. That's awesome. And, and do you guys have a particular location in the country that people should look out for? So we're based in Colorado and so June through early October we do rides in Colorado uh, and the rest of the year we're down by Tucson, Arizona. We, we trailer the fleet down to Arizona. So those are our two, uh, two hubs. Awesome. Well, if you guys want to get involved with this program, check out the link in the description below. You can also check them out on Instagram at Motorcycle Relief. And uh, yeah, again, this was way cool getting a ride in a sidecar. I've never tried that out before, so I'm glad I have. I'm not sure I want to ever get behind the actual handlebars <laughs> and <laughs> ride a sidecar for myself. I would definitely want to do some training before I do that and end up doing something stupid but yeah way cool anyways we'll see you guys in the next video